Welcome back to our Pokemon Unite video here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be showcasing some Talonflame gameplay. Talonflame, for those not familiar, is the often forgotten about character type of Speedster. Speedsters are the assassin-style characters of Pokemon Unite, which is to say, even though they are melee characters in terms of their attack range, they hit hard and fast, but they also get hit hard themselves because they tend to be very squishy. Thankfully, Talon's Flame Kit allows you to engage with an incredible amount of burst damage. The break Brave Bird plus Aerial Ace skill set I'm going to be taking today has strong synergy with each other. Um, Brave Bird says when you hit a target with it, your next boosted auto attack will reset the cooldown of your secondary attack. And Aerial Ace makes your next auto attack after you use it boosted. So a frequent play pattern you're going to see me execute for big bursts of damage is Brave Bird onto someone, Aerial Ace across them, boosted attack, Aerial Ace across again, and hopefully knock them out with that big burst. As far as items are concerned, I think Razor Claw is an absolute must to be playing on Talonflame. Not only does Talonflame has an incredibly high attack stat to make Razor Claw's passive be extra deadly, but the slow that Razor Claw provides means people have a difficult time getting away from you once you launch yourself on top of them. As far as durability items go, I think Buddy Barrier is still pretty reasonable on Talonflame. However, I've been trying out Focus Band to reasonable effect. The third item slot, uh, I'm not quite sure what other uh, damage item I really like on Talonflame. On flame. I think Muscle Band is fine. I think Scope Lens could potentially have uh, merit as well, but I'd love to know in the comments down below what items you love to run on this character with this item, with this skill set loadout. At any rate, I hope you enjoy the matchup. Talonflame is definitely a character that I enjoy playing, even if I'm definitely still working to master some of the micro mechanics of it. And I'll be back tomorrow with their Pokemon Unite video here on YouTube. And just chilling, playing a bunch of different stuff. Thanks for, thanks for keeping me around, Metsu. I wouldn't be able to be here without folks like you. Awesome, Twisted. Yeah, this, game, this game's great. This is... This is the game I play the most off-stream to. Because I'm, I'm a degenerate. I don't just uh, I don't just play while I stream. We occasionally play while I'm uh, in the evenings, too. My wife, my wife also plays Pokemon Unite. And she usually gets to... We usually get to Masters 1800 each season together with her account. I'll grind. I'll grind a little bit higher than that, but she likes she likes getting all the cosmetic rewards. All right, they have a Gibble Bottom Path chat. We are ganking the Gibble Path. Gibble is tasty. They have Gibble routes. Oh baby. Dinner is served. Wait, and they're pushing up? All right, early gank time. Early gank? Early gank. Damn it. All right, I don't know if it was worth losing my button there, champ. We'll see, though. All right, bees are coming up in five. Excuse me? A score shield Absol? What are you people doing? Ah! Oh damn, I snapped up. That's fine, I think we can dive these, right? Ah, oh no! Absol Silver Steam. I enjoy playing Talonflame, but it's definitely not one of my strongest characters. Most of, most of the characters you will see me play while we are playing with viewers is me trying things out and trying to practice characters I feel like I need to get better with. We're going to be going Brave Bird in our second attack here. I think even with the nerf, I prefer that skill to fly. The burst damage that Brave Bird with Aerial Ace provides is really high. Bottom, are a little pushed up here. All right, we traded two for two there. We take those.
It was my Absol, and I want it now. Ah, damn. If I'd have been able to hit with that boosted. Whoa! How on God's green earth did that just decide to stamp me to Dreadnought instead of the Audino that was half health right in front of me? The auto targeting gets me sometimes. All right, we have a Unite move. Their Absol's down. Their Absol's down. I have a Unite move, and they have a Rotem Gamer top. So uh, clean this objective, huh? Oh, I was like, how did it get out? It full healed. Hoaglandians, just stay in farm bottom. In a spot like this. All right, I'm out, peace. Uniting it, not Dreadnought. Sedge. Rotem, Rotem gamers, chat. Listen, chat. To be the best Hoopa you can be, you need to unite at second Dread and at Zapdos. And please, for the love of God, don't try and walk up at their second point and get yourself knocked out like this person just did. That cap there was so illegal. All right, we just ticked a Blastoise. That's good. There's some people here, there are people. That Pikachu does not have a Unite move yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, this this Gardevoir is micro really well. We gotta go. No! Oh, our Hoopa Unite came back up. Sick. That is a Pikachu Unite. I don't want, anyth I don't want to be anywhere near that one. Yikes, 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 yikes. My Brave Bird's on cooldown. This Dreadnought is just like still here. Weird. Just nobody, nobody's touched it. Our, our Hoopa's like going top. So the Unite recharge was 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 increased a little bit on this character. Dreadnought's going for a walk. Oh my gosh! What a timing! It knocked me out! Right as my iframe from scoring finished. Oh, that's huge. Gardevoir just united at 220. That's huge. Oh, God, our road. This is chat. 
I mentioned earlier, Rotom is worth negative value. This is why Rotom is worth negative value. Do you see how my, my Hoopa and my Aegislash both got themselves KO'd with this, with this Rotom? That's, that's what I mean when I say it's worth negative. All right, our Hoopa has the Unite move. I'm gonna try and farm mine real quick. Their people are all back camping. Let's go. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh my god! I thought we were gonna lose that 1v1 shit. Huge lead! Good job. Good job skipping Zapdos. Back cap masters the opposing team chip. What are you doing, friends? Wait till they come to us! This fight off point here is, is kind of nonsense. You he you heal a lot on your inside points yet. Use it to your advantage. With the changes to score shield, especially, like they're gonna have to they're gonna have to knock us out on point. Hey, look, it's Gardevoir's Unite move. Let that better. Should have had that extra knockout yet. Yeah, there's a there's a UI bug with Hoopas Unite and uh, and the mobile client. That was happening to Assassin Dave while he was streaming the other day too. So I did I did in fact see the giant text up on the screen. I'm not thumbsing up our Rotom gamers yet. I refuse. 16 knockouts, 110,000 damage. Not, not bad. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming about liking the video and leaving a comment down below and clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you back again tomorrow for their Pokemon Unite highlight here on YouTube.